Hi, this is Shane and welcome back to episode 19 of Project Architect. And in um, yesterday's episode, I, um, I made the RF Tools dimension. We, we made a dimension and we went to it, which is, you know, we, it, took, took, it, it took a while to work it out, but we worked it out. We had a working dimension to go to. Um, after the episode finished, I um, decorated the room, as you can see. Actually, I should look at it from the outside. Uh, travel staff roof. So I've called it the travel agency because, you know, we can use it to travel places. And um, yeah, I forgot to say, if you've got the travel staff in your hand, you can travel to any of the travel anchors without having to stand on another travel anchor. So I can stand here and right click it and go to the travel agency. You can also use it to teleport you short distances. Oh no, because I was looking at the base. Ugh. Let's try and find one that I'm not looking at and not standing on a travel anchor. Really? Ugh. That's a great start to the episode. Stand back. There you go. So yeah, I have teleported. It does have a bit of a cooldown period, but there you go. You have to shift click to teleport. Right. Um. Yeah. So I decorated using blocks from Architects Palette. I really like those blocks, and I have to change this one. I forgot. I moved everything down. Um. Because I realised that when I'm standing here. When I was standing on the travel anchor and looking at um, the 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 the, la uh, the labels <laughs> for the enchanting area and the trading hall, it was blocked by the dialing device, and it would it would it would activate the dialing device. So I had to move it down one so that I could get to them. The only thing is, if I go anywhere near the home tra the transmitter, it will take me out to the island, to the to the dimension, which isn't fun. So I have to remember not to stand on the matter transmitter. But there you go. Right. So, um, yeah. Between episodes, after I did this, um, I found out I can't fly. My yeah, my suit. I am wearing it. It just refuses to fly. I have no idea why. I do have... What on earth is that? Oh, it's an Enderman. Right. Um, I do have a fully, char fully charged Klein Star. There's the Klein Star. That's where it's been the entire time. I haven't taken it out. I don't know what it is. I don't know if there's a particular key bind that enables you to fly that I've hit it by accident. I don't know. And I can't seem to find any information online as to what I need to turn on and off. Um, a couple of episodes back, I did mention that I had pressed something and I got a notification about offensive capabilities of the suit. Um, it's the charge button or um, the Project E armor. If you've got an empty hand and you press the charge charge button, or the charge key bind, I should say, that's what turned it on. All right, so I turned it back off. Although I should turn it on because, you know, offensive abilities, that's good. I don't know what it does, though, but there you go. Um, Yeah, so like I said, I can hover, but I can't fly. Not like how I was a couple of episodes ago. Don't know why. So I'm taking that to mean that's a sign that I need to start on Draconic Evolution because if I have a Draconic Evolution set of armor, I can fly, right? That's fine. The only problem is you need um, Draconic Ore and like or Draconic Dust, and that comes from Draconic Ore. Like I said, I would found some of this in the overworld, but I'd only found like 54, 58 of them which, you know, isn't all that much. And um, somebody told me 
you can find draconic ore more find more of it in the end so i thought well okay let's look for a fortress i went and i looked for a fortress i found a fortress and um i was looking around it and i couldn't find the end portal and i'm like okay and i'm going around and but half of the fortress was ruined because at one point you just like stepped out to the side and it went into a, a, a cave so i'm like okay maybe you know i just haven't looked around it enough whatever i switched to spectator mode just to have a look there was no end portal so then i tried um there was a nether portal there i lit it went into the nether wandered around for a bit and then built another nether portal came out someplace totally different and tried to find it was like 10,000 blocks away from my base I thought that should be good be able to find another fortress and of course it was disgustingly laggy and it was stopping every two seconds it's like fine can't do that has to be an easier way to do this so then um I got to thinking again and it's like wait a minute we can we might be able to build the end with the tool with the with the rf tools dimensions and see if it's going to generate any of the the, the um the ore that we need so we're going to try and do that today so we can um make the end all right so i went looking at stuff that i had already some of the dimlets that we already had so I've got an attribute dimlet, which is default, uh, biome dimlet, the end, uh, digit dimlet to change, to give it a different look. I'm not sure what will happen. Um, I was, I went and started putting some of this lost knowledge into, um, the knowledge holder. And what came out is that these three, they're all on common blocks and they have ores i'm guessing and this one is a legendary block with ores so i don't know what's going to happen and this block dimlet is glowstone because i figured if it's a high light area high highly lit area then you know less mobs i don't know so let's put this in and let's see if we can make a dimension and also i think i've worked out how to you what what the little symbols mean so for example on this we were looking at this yesterday and it's kind of like okay that i'm not sure what those are but for example if i click on andesite if i click on something let me take these out because when you click on them you get different patterns okay those are not different there you go Seared stone, and you've got these green balls that you get from the blobs. These, I think, you get from bigger blobs. But what this is, let me see. Uh, fluid dimlet. There you go. So you need the thing with the power symbols is a power is a um, a power module. The one next to it is a memory module. Then you need three. Um, dimensional ores three oh, no sorry eight of the um what are these things called the, whatever the balls are called i'm not entirely sure and five of the blue ones and one block which which holds the seared stone now the block i think it's in a block absorber i think that's what it's called block absorber is it yes the block absorber it needs a sponge i don't have a sponge yet so i can't make one otherwise i would have tried making um a dimlet to see if it you know if it works but i think it does because everything that i've just told you appears here so it needs three dimensional ores and there's three there it needs uh, eight of the green ones, there's eight there, five of the blue ones, there's five there. And then the energy module and the memory module 
I believe these go up here, right? And you probably, well, I've made the empty block module, but I must, oh, maybe that needs to go there. No. So I'm guessing the empty block dimlet will go there. And then you fill in these bits, you fill in this, and I think any other modifier you might want to put into it. I'm not 100% with that. And, or maybe that's what, oh, that would be where the block absorber goes. And then you press create, and then it should give you a dimlet. But I don't have any block absorbers, and I think they all need one. It looks like they all, if you're going to put, if you're going to make a block, it looks like they all need one. So I can't even, I don't know if there's anything we can test. Let's see, oh, no, these are all blocks as well. Islands. All right, that doesn't need one. We can try that because I don't have. Okay, once um, the energy, memory, five dimensional ore, and a feather. Okay. All right, it's the men memory module and energy module and a feather uh, feature. So, why? Oh, yeah, because I put, yep. Yeah. That makes sense. Right, no, not that one. This one. Islands. Yep. Five of those. Um, memory. Energy. Create. Nope. No, that's not it. I thought that would have been it. Unless it takes... No, there's nothing to show that it is creating. So I don't know. College holder sitting adjacent to it. Yeah, that's... I I don't know. I don't know, because, oh, unless that goes there, maybe? Nope. The only thing that went into was here. Well, I don't know then. That would make the most sense to me. Right, anyway, let's get on with what we were doing. Right, so we have... Nope. Um, Inscriber. Okay, so I have biome, so it's the end biome, we've got glowstone, um, we've got it random, uh, the terrain is a void, can we put these in? No. And maybe we should, maybe I should put in end stone as well. Ooh. Okay, they drop by different. Those balls are dropped by different um blobs. Is he go? Oh, it's moving. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I am worried that if I make this dimlet, it won't have anything other than glowstone. Let me have another look through the blocks and see. Okay, so it looks like, if I'm correct, it has to be bookended by the biome, by biome and terrain, and then all the bits that you want go in the middle, right? So I've said that the biome is the end, terrain is a void, and you can get graphite blocks in there, um, the digit dimlet would help to randomize it and glowstone and let's see what let's see how it goes and um no capital letters test and door okay 
I okay let's see what's going on I made extra um dimension builders because we have we have the power we can use it not a problem but let's see if this um if this works because if it doesn't work then we'd have to look at an alternate way of um of getting draconic ore, draco dra draconic dust. And that is really, it's like, uh, that means we'll probably have to go, because I think you've got to go like industrial foregoing. And I don't really want to go into industrial foregoing. Draconic dust. No, what's it called? It's some kind of dust. Uh, oh, draconium dust. There you go. Um, yes, you have to go via industrial foregoing. So that's fermented meat, fermented or meat. Or we can do create. And you guys know how much I don't like create. I was going to say something else, but yeah, you know, I don't, I, I don't like create. Raw or meat. So we need draconium ore and liquid meat. Okay, we only have to get liquid meat. I don't need to get pink slime or any. Well, I might need pink slime to make the washing factory. And, oh, God. Yes, you do need pink slime. Oh, that's so much grind. I don't like it. I really don't. Right, let's take you out. No, we don't want to take you out. We want to put you back in. That's it. Although it's... Is it draining our power? I don't think it is. Let's go have a look very quickly. No, we have lots. I think the machine can't keep up. I wonder if we put a watch of flowing time... Okay, that is. And that hasn't really affected it. Hasn't affected it. But anyway, uh, let's. The, the particles are on, by the way. I just turned them off because I've been flying around as a blaze. Because obviously, like I said, I'm not flying. But with that, that means there's no particles. All right, so let's have a look at this. No, dialing device. Uh, test end. Right, it's going to test end. Let's go. Okay. Okay, when we say it's a void, it really is a void. That is scary. All right. Um, all right, so we shouldn't have made it a void. <laughs> why, why am I poisoned? Um, what? My okay, yeah. Don't like don't like that at all. And it's probably totally dark. Probably totally dark. Yeah, there you go. If I look up, it's dark. All right, let's go home. And of course, I've got that weird perspective because I've got mining fatigue and night vision and stuff not night vision mining fatigue and stuff all right well that is not what we want although all right let's 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 I remember they were say they were say they 
if you don't let it charge up to the full power weird things happen so i'm going to leave this charging i'm going to leave it charging and i need to put back on the, the particles yeah definitely on all right so i'm going to leave that going And I am going to see extract. Okay, we have. I know what we can do actually. This dimension is what? That is flat iron and that is. I didn't actually, I didn't show you guys that world because I made it after. Right, it's going to flat iron end yeah i made this world and i put a um a builder so i can get the end stone and iron blocks there was our builder is over here oh yeah i can fly and hover okay where is our builder I don't know where the builder's gone. It shouldn't have cannibalized itself, but it looks like it might have. I don't know. That is... That is bizarre. All right, let's go over here and have a look. Yeah, as far as I know, if you've got a builder, it shouldn't cannibalize itself. But maybe it has. It looks like it ate itself. Which is a bit... Oh, I haven't killed one of you. Um, Where's the Qatar? Oh, is it gone? It was a... Um, uh, was it Bal... Balsas? There it is. Oh, he was coming to meet me. Sorry. I didn't realise you were coming to walk. Oh, see, now that it's of a thing. That's really annoying. I right, come over here, buddy. Come this way. What on earth are you? Right. Let's have a look and see what I've killed. Oh, it was a blizz. It definitely was a blizz. Okay. Ah, uh, did I get anything? Blizz mode. Yeah, that was underwhelming. Yeah, it looked like the builder cannibalized itself, which I thought it wasn't supposed to do. I thought as long as it's chunk load, no, I thought as long as it's there, it doesn't, you know, it would, doesn't eat itself, but maybe it did. I don't know, that's, that's bizarre. Well, in that case, I think... Ah! Yeah, I think we are gonna have to... Yeah. Actually, why did I come back here? I could have just used the porter. Okay, let's... Alright, let's take you out. You've done your thing. So, extract. Alright, so we've got flat. 
hollow spheres, block of iron and stone. Right, so if I leave that there, how are you in terms of power? You are just uh, all right. Let's take you out. Maybe I should have done this from the beginning. Extract. Okay. Extract. All right. So that's okay. Uh, biome, rowstone, digit block terrain let's move you along to here and then let's put in blocks of iron where's the um and stone move you along where's the terrain terrain flat Okay, so it can't be a void and flat. It can either be flat and the void. Hello spheres. Did we put the end stone? Graphite, iron, end stone. The end. Test end two. And that's empty, right? Yeah. Okay, that's ready. That's going up a whole lot faster than the other one did. Maybe because the other one was a void world. I don't know. But yeah, that's definitely going up a whole lot faster. So it's probably because it was a void world. That's why it was sucking. It was, yeah, just sucking everything. Right, so. Um, yeah, let's give that a minute to load up. Okay, so that can analyzer. Where's the analyzer? Oh no. Did we make the analyzer? Uh we didn't make it. Oh no, that doesn't that doesn't have a recipe. Okay, never mind. Is that done yet? pretty much test n2 all right so we need to dial to test n2 dial okay Okay, what happened to the end? And what isn't this like amethyst? Ma oh. <gasps> Blocks of manulin. Okay, I'm here for that. Definitely here for that. And we've got iron and stone. Wow. I'm impressed because I didn't particularly want to make manulin because, you know, um, you need blazing blood and I didn't really fancy trapping blazes and doing stuff. Is that a village? The village? Do you get villagers in here? Well, there's a cat. So if there's a cat, is there villagers? Uh, can't get down. <gasps> Villagers! We have a village. The blocks of graphite, glowstone, little villagers. Oh, wow. But the manulin is actually quite cool. So is everything... 
or just one biome, just the snowy tiger, uh, snowy tiger, and no snowy tundra. Okay, it didn't, it didn't quite do what I wanted it to do, but we got manulin. All right, let's 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 take one because we just need one. We just need one. Oh, there's water in it. Okay, <laughs> that's a bit random. Uh, did we actually get the block of manulin? We did. Can be used as a beacon base. Oh, how far do they go? Um, are you not going to let... All right. You know what? Let's go from the top. Just full of water and of course I've got the water breathing trinket so it doesn't matter they're just full of water so what's underneath this then okay that is definitely infinitely cooler than you know what was there before i don't know how deep it goes let's see what's in here okay so dimlets that's tiger hills block of lead all right so yeah i don't think i'll be able to get draconium ore this way unfortunately Hello, do you want to get your picture taken with me? Did I take that as a no? I'll take that as a no. Um, yeah, that is definitely, that was definitely a bonus. Oh, was there supposed to be a, a a village here and instead we got a block of manulin it looks like it all right i'm gonna have to set up a builder in this world to get the manulin put it in my um in my builder and get some proper emc well i shouldn't say proper emc we have loads of emc to get even more because i would like to get loads but that still doesn't solve the whole i need the end so between episodes, I'm going to see if I can find another um, another fortress. But I think what I'm going to have to do is, you know, just randomly teleport someplace and just sit there for a while, let it all load in and then see what happens. because we need we need to get to the end we're not going to be able to get the end even though i said this was supposed to be an end was it supposed to be an end dimension i don't know i can't remember but you know it's not um it's not doing what we want it to do oh this is ice oh this is so cool This is so cool. So, thanks very much for watching. Please like, comment and subscribe. It really helps to grow my channel. And I will see you guys in the next episode. Bye-bye.